Something sweet's all right. But what does it say? It says it's going to be released in three weeks. Makes you happy, doesn't it? Baby, happy ain't the word. I am D. Lee Russ. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right. oh. What's the matter? Rough night? What else? Go home, cop some seeds. I'm just gonna sit here if you don't mind. Damn this thing. Last night I stayed here. Work went on and fell asleep. Had this dream about sweets getting out. Man, that's weird. That's damn weird. Today is my birthday. Damn. Forgot all about it. Wish to hell I could. Anybody think he was a wink up old Julio? <laughs> uh. Here, go and buy yourself something real nice. <laughs> celebrate your birthday some way. Tomorrow morning, we go over to Sunday Hayden and a bottle of my best wampo. All day, all night, Marianne. <laughs> Gloria? Her what? 
about your divorce. That's Lori ain't gonna give me no divorce. Well, if she ain't that don't stop us from living together, do it? What made you change your mind? Another thing. Ever since I know you, you've been belly aching about getting you some drugs. I'm gonna get him too. Well, I'm willing to do everything I can to help you. You mean you gonna help me get my trunks? No job. <laughs> then you can quit old JC and go back to playing in them nightclubs like you said. You really mean it. You gonna help me get my trunks? Yeah, I ain't talking just to hear myself. Oh! Mama, you are the greatest. Honey, hug. Mouth. You hired me to be a short order cook, Ryan. That's exactly what this list is to. A short order. 
Just check it. I want you to pull them under that, uh, what was it on me again? Potage, palm attack. Everyone else like it. Getting some chitlins. You've been saying something. Chitlins? Sometimes I don't think you have the taste buds of a slave. Finish it. I really shouldn't. <laughs> it's my first time out. Got all nervous, you know. First time out. We're picketing the building down the street. The new hospital they're building. What for? Haven't you heard? The unions won't accept qualified Negroes. Well, why don't the qualified Negroes do their own picket? It's everyone's responsibility. You don't need well, I'm glad not all Negroes feel the way you do. Amy, you don't know how I feel. I don't think I care to find out either. Just happen to think somebody invented all that civil rights to get a whole lot of people running in the wrong direction. Would you mind? You know what's in that daiquiri, babe? Let me go, please. Jizz juice. <laughs> a triple dose of jizz mystic juice. <laughs> Any minute now, you're gonna turn into a depraved sex man. A teenage Jekyll and Hyde. Your head is gonna sprout fuzzy like somebody from the Fiji Islands. Your hot tongue will roll out of your mouth like a fat snake. Your pant like a gorilla in heat. Your bosoms will blow up like ass balloons. And a little nip in your hand will <laughs> swell like white from plum. Your behind will begin to work. Like the old gray man, when you'll strut around here flapping your wings like a red duck. Then you'll suck me up with one mighty slip and fly out of here a screaming vampire. <laughs> they will finally subdue and slay you atop of the Empire State Building with ray guns, where you'll be attempting to impale yourself to drive that giant antenna. And nobody will ever know that you, little Mary Lou Bolton, who just graduated from Elmira College, was looking to lay down in front of a big black bulldog to keep America safe with monsters. I think I get your point. Mary Lou, are you coming or not? Everyone is leaving. Do you have to do this all the time? <laughs> Shaggy, no the man's waiting. <laughs> Where do you think you go? Moving 
been there recorded, they. Not on my time, you ain't. And me stacking sweets any minute. What's so important about that great Negro shame he's got to be here? Or, or maybe he's best in standing room for the occasion. I ain't letting him off. And that's that. JC, why is she so bent now on breaking up our little club? Somebody's got to look after Shangy if he don't. What is you talking about? Shangy is free, white, and long past 21. Ain't none of your business what he does outside this bucket of blood. Well, I got news for you, bitch. I put him in here when none of these other hunkies around here were high at him. Talking his upside the wall, talking, beating up their back. What's that got to do with me? Just protecting my interests, that's all. Ain't gonna have you or nobody else turning his head but so far. Ain't gonna let you stand in my way, JC. Me and Shaggy took a like from one another from the day I walked in here and found you running the place. Now up till now ain't been much happiness in this world for neither one of us, but figure what little we got coming to us, we best jump on it with all four feet. And how you feel about it, Shaggy? She's gonna help me get my drums. <laughs> she ain't gonna do nothing but turn you into something you don't wanna be. What is you talking about, fool? This black bitch is going to turn you into a real white man, well, you, you can quit this nigga today, honey. We'll manage. You want to be a white man, Johnny? <sighs> you think if you get with someone like Cora, it'll make the whole thing... Hush up, J.C. Well, it won't. She'll make you so damn white, you can't even bang two spoons I was warning you, Chase. And play the drums? Ha! You ain't never going to play no drums. Why are you going to do this? Big fat Pete from up in the Bronx. Yeah. 
He's running everything down here from soup to nuts. But we gonna change all that, ain't we, sweet? Sonny boy, there wasn't much on the house. What's been happening since I've been in the joint? Irish, Jews, and the Guineas still running things you. No, I'm here with you, Sonny boy. Well, like you know, I had a tough gap getting my divorce. The whole thing started when I wanted her to do a little merchandise. <coughs> Real Magdalene she was. One thing led to another. Boom, back to mama she went. Had a hell of a time getting her to sign this joint over to me. Went into my act. Fell down on my deuce of business. Gave her the whole routine about how the world been treating us black folk and everything. Well. Sweets. Here. To our little piece of this set. Speaking of Iceland, Sonny Boy, you ready to make kind of statement? You kidding, Sweets? Push it or hook it? Nay, hey, that ain't my stick. Sonny Boy, when I was your age, I was into some of everything. Wish you wouldn't call me that no more, Sweets. I ain't that little boy running up and down St. Nicholas High for you no more. Just had it, Johnny. But I sort of was hoping you was into something on your own way. Hell, man, I was, I was trying to stay clean. Waiting on you like we planned. Well, now, uh, that's, that's what I want to talk to you about. Yes, sir. You still the boss, Sweets. Didn't think you want to get into it just yet. Figured we, you know, have a few drinks. Sorry, boy. Sir? sir? First off, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm through. What? What you say, sweet? Wrapping it all up for good. Wrapping up what? The rackets. You, you gotta be joking. Never been more serious in all my life. Sweetie, you, you just tired. Don't need no rest. Get yourself together. My mind's made up. Been waiting on you this long. A little longer ain't gonna kill me. Look, Sunny Boy, it's like this. Shut up with that Sunny Boy shit! Cut it up. Look, man! You ain't let the slam psych you out! That ain't like you! Leave him alone! That ain't like you at all! God! Motherfucker! I've been waiting on you ten! Long ass years! Man. You ain't gonna chop out of me like this! Oh. Oh. What the hell they do to you, huh? What the hell do to me? In the past, they, they did something to you! Nothing that wasn't already done. Oh. Charlie Fever, Johnny. That's what you got. I gave it to you. Took your child's mind and filled it with the Charlie Fever. Giving you an education or teaching you the dinner bell didn't seem to me no way if you grow up be respected like a man. The way we was raised, hustling and using your biscuit to pour quickies was the only way we could feel like we was men. Couldn't copy Charlie's good points and live like men, so he copied his bad points. That's the way it was with my daddy and his daddy before him. We just pissed away our lives trying to be like bad Charlie, with all our fine clothes and big cars. All it did was make us hate him all the more, and ourselves too. Then I tried to go horse horse him up there in the Bronx, and ended up with a tent. All because of the Charlie fever. I gave him Charlie fever, Johnny. And Lord knows I'm sorry. Seems to me the worst thing this America has is a chubby feet. 
Get out of here, sweets. God damn you. Get out of here. Before I kill you. Sons of bitches. Take this some too. Sweets don't give up that easy. Charlie Field. Shit. Ten years is a long time. The man is sick. They don't want to see that. Oh, 